Great. Okay. <laughs> um, assassins to this week's episode of Assassins and Dragons. My name is Magnus Beasticus, and I will be your dungeon master for the evening. Something happened in last week's episode. It was a little hiccup with the audio. We may or may not release it. So let's just say that it was a traveling episode, inconsequential. Uh, Vark here here acquired an undead steed. And let's get into it. Joining me today as one of the heroes on this endeavor is, on my left, your right, Herchek Bane, Goliath Barbarian, level 1,000. You're gonna Minus need it. 1, yeah, I'm going to need, need it. I'm in. <laughs> and a god of I forgot yours. that was pretty princess difficulty, though. <laughs> oh, and I am Varkir, in Victari, uh, Asimar. Uh, I'm a cleric <laughs> yeah. of the Death Domain. Like so and, uh, yes, he will make the joke that he didn't make last time because he didn't see it. <laughs> no, didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. <laughs> I can't yes. see it. I can't see the and wind. That's, that's the end of my story right there for now. But what about your backstory? Mm -hmm. You want to hear the whole thing, just a part thing. Just, just kidding. I'm off. Tim, <laughs> 500 Short years for ago Tamarius, in the future. Uh, Dordagar. Dwarf, uh, level six, wild mage. I'm Cat, and I'm playing Thunky Beerbot, a level six druid mountain dwarf, uh, which I have been playing this entire time, no matter what you may or may not have heard in past episodes. It's okay. There is an absolute max of twenty what? people who would. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Good. All right, so <laughs> last time we left off, Kunbara Daishan, captain, Died. one of the captains of Orin's Guard, had joined our party members in their search for Nosha in the land of the giants located in the Gragnar Mountains. They had found the name of this location and are currently in search of the city of Bresh to obtain more information. Iso, as I had said previously, has Who? all... God! Who? Iso is you this. change characters so much! Mm. Uh, Barkir had obtained uh, a steed, killed it, and uh, brought it underneath his reign. Brutally. His undead reign. <laughs> and uh, my reign will they, last a thousand years. <laughs> they were also attacked uh, in the middle of the night Heck. by mm. a pyre bear. A pyre bear that Thunky had mercilessly slain. I had to. <laughs> I didn't want to, but I had to. Uh, yeah, with his, her, whip. <laughs> <laughs> we wake up now, halfway through the journey to Bresh. <laughs> Almost making it to the Black Valley, leading to the city of Bresh. It is morning time now. Saddlebags are being packed. Horses and undead horses being taken care of. What do you all wish to do, if anything? I'm going to make breakfast. Out of the bear that you killed last night? Yeah, some okay. bear meat. Just clarifying. Eating the bear, yep. Yep. Uh, for yourself or for everyone? For everyone. Okay, good. Everybody has a bit of the bear. It's It tastes... A bit? Tastes a game. big guy. Charred. I have a lot. You don't want to waste it, so you have your fill. Doubles. Doubles. <laughs> um, okay, being... Uh, tended to in terms like of hunger. Take one of the like the bear's eyes and like try and feed it to my undead horse. Ooh, can I take one of his claws? Yeah, go for it. Make 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 a nature check, both of you, to see how well you can. I'm gonna well, throw it up my in my mouth. So a we'll eat the food. <laughs> no, your your horse is definitely going to absent-mindedly again, 19. just staring off into the distance. <laughs> Chomping down, mm. and it's it swallows it. But I I feel like you should know it's not going to do anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like ah. it's it's more like a storage for the mush that you feed it. I lose my appetite. <laughs> it's like, ah, you're so beautiful. Mm. What did you get her check? What is this a wisdom or wisdom? Yeah, that's gonna be a one, not natural. You oh, wait, somehow managed up, to butcher the claws to the point where you would not be able to use them for anything. Any of them? None <laughs> of them. All <laughs> Just 20. Break them all, in half. all four of the paws 
including, yeah, I suppose, yeah, the 20 nails. Yep, none of them. Fine, I'll go for one of them. One half nail is what you get. I'll go for the teeth. Fangs. Go ahead and roll another nature check. Two. No, you end up headbutting the teeth. So <laughs> <God>! <laughs> 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 get out! Uh, but so cut up and shit. Yeah, to, to no avail. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, you guys load up the, the saddlebags, you scary. pack up your camp, you uh, lay the completely broken and destroyed pyre bear to rest. Did we burn him? No. He was already kind of singed a, a bit. Do we put him in cold water then? If you want to. Nah. <laughs> Just tie a rope to him and drag him the rest of the way until you find water. I'm not going to animate a thing that has no head and his guts are coming out and we ate part of him. <laughs> well, that dude is like... Yeah, how disrespectful. It'll just be like... I said thank you. ...limping around on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like something like if he shoved <laughs> some kind As of thing... As he was flicking you off going into the heavens, he, he had some solace in the fact that you said thank you. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Robbing him like of his That's life. why oh, I say thanks. Thank thanks you. for your sacrifice, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> You didn't um, have to be a dick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they tip my druid ways. Yeah. So you guys head mm -hmm. off east into the mountains. Uh, nighttime comes a bit faster this time as the shadows of the mountain block out the sun for a good majority of the, the way. Like our arrows. Hmm? What? Nothing. Are there any? Is there anything that you want to get done before you make it to your next campsite? I'd like to get off this horse. Okay. Oh yeah, make it make a dexterity. <laughs> check. I don't mean like while riding it. Oh, I know, but still, just for the for the journey. Nineteen. Oh. Nineteen. Oh yeah, the first day through all of the the trials and errors and Kunbara helping you verbally and both physically on your horse and just sort of instructions on how to ride it better. You got a much better hang of, of this horse this time. I'm a quick masterer. Yeah, maybe even ambitions towards competition in the future are <laughs> rising in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> can I just see him like very visibly daydreaming? Yes. And just go uh, up to him and be like, you're not ready. It's he's he's daydreaming and it's almost like he's not even present in the moment on his horse, but he's like riding it extra hard, <laughs> and you guys are just <laughs> trotting <laughs> through the forest, just looking over at him like, "You're doing good, Tim. Real proud of you." <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, nighttime is is coming, and you guys are reaching uh, towards the end of the forest, where you can see. It's becoming more of a rocky, mountainous landscape. Um, less is able to grow here because of the firm rock foundation. And almost at the edge of the forest is when it's approaching about 10, 11 o'clock at night. And stars are out. No light pollution, thank God. Gross. I make a fire to make some light pollution. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You try and stargaze right next to the fire. You're like, it's not working. <laughs> Can't even see the stars out here. Okay, oh is anybody else doing anything? Doing any um, nighttime deeds? <laughs> Wood gathering, hunting? Uh, I've, you know, I, I cast animate dead on my horse again to keep it alive. <laughs> you mean dead? And uh, it is it is now. I don't think anybody is is currently under the illusion that your horse is <laughs> still living. Yeah. <laughs> the leather patches that you laid over it to conceal the the very obvious and visible tears in the skin and sort of bones protruding through are just not enough anymore. Mm. And it is a, a a horse that has died a long time ago to everybody else. Oh, Whether or not that like, it's two, two days, <laughs> it's still two days of of rot and, and like walking and we're riding and, and, and yeah, stuff. action also mm. has uh, almost a I sleeve of the horse's leg is just peeled. Can I cast off. mend on the uh, leather straps and everything to like heal them? With, like, I was just about to do the same thing actually. Are you talking to the to the horse in general? 
I'm, yeah, I'm doing it every part of the, every part of the leather as, straps as it are is like men and men. Slowly turning into more of an item and less than a horse. <laughs> more of a taxidermy <laughs> Just a leather horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a BDSM you're, horse. You're mending this, this undead taxidermied horse. Yeah, you, we'll say. Go ahead and make. Uh, you may be mending it, but let's see how well you can sort of combine it with the. <laughs> natural element <laughs> of, of the horse and stuff. Can I add we'll mine see. and give him an advantage? Hmm? Yeah, you, you can see, and this is probably upsetting you or, or disturbing you in, in some way, shape, or form. So this is this is more so for your own yeah. mental fortitude. Yeah, basically. That's exactly <laughs> like, what I was doing. This isn't ask. happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to do this, I'm going to help you. Oh, poor so horse. Roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see. Such a sick horse. 19. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. And oh. 17. Oh. Do I add anything to that? Uh, n it, uh, yeah, Arcana Wisdom, I believe it oh, would be. So that'll be a 20 then. Yeah, surprisingly, with the, the help of Thunky, you yeah. patch it up well enough to, to convince people from a relatively <laughs> medium distance <laughs> that there's nothing wrong with it. Don't come any closer. That horse will bite. Walking. The horse will bite. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, old horse, the, 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 <laughs> the ruined <laughs> ankle with the the ward inside of it that you just forcibly shoved oh up there is, is still having some issues. Mm. But some people might just think like, oh, you know, when that horse gets home, he'll you'll have enough time to heal. That being said, can I take a large stick and then just like attach it like a splint to that ankle and then wrap leather around it? Roll a medical check. Oh, Will he not be able to bend his leg? Yeah, no, I don't no, think just, that's just what just so that's that it's like this and work. not like that. Uh, okay. Like only right here, not up above that. Gotcha. I mean, you you never know. I would just use leather straps, but no, you twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> yeah. I make the shit out of that it's split. Like, well, <laughs> can't even this, tell this your horse, horse is limping. This horse, in some cases, looks better than <laughs> even your living horses. I look at it and it's like, huh? Let me just. There we go. Well, good at what you do, <laughs> I guess. I'll, I'll give you that much. Hmm. I just couldn't stand looking at it anymore. <laughs> no, Brex is a fine uh, steed. I haven't eaten all He's day. He's a fine steed. As I pet him and like some of his hair comes out in my hand, I'm just like, don't, don't, don't ignore that. So <laughs> you, on, on that note, <laughs> <Ew. laughs> on that note, you can adjust and mend its physical appearance, but its smell <laughs> gets worse. Absolutely horrid. Each like passing hour almost it gets worse. You guys have gotten used to it a little bit, but you've noticed less and less wildlife around you. Can I take like flowers as we're passing by them and just like just put them in like near like around, around straps and around bags? Open just up pieces of flesh <laughs> and stick them inside. There we go. <laughs> I will make you at least Popery. a little better smelling. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> why not? This will <laughs> cover up that sickly Instead scent. Instead of a hundred yard scent, it's flesh. a seventy yard scent. Good enough. <laughs> uh, so, is there anything else that you guys would like to get done during the night time at this point? Yeah, I'm just gonna whittle some, get some sticks, whittle some, some spears. Nothing, okay. fa nothing fancy. I. Tim. This time. I'd like to ask, well, I'd like to ask Kumbara uh, a question. How, yes, Tim, how may I help you? You didn't tell us about any pyre bears around the area last time. Well, to be perfectly honest, they're not known to be around these parts. And I did say that due to the lack of guard on the outside perimeter of Orinville, we could run into any number of dangers. Well, what is around this area that's dangerous? Pyre bears, I guess, now is is one of them. Oh, thanks, good <laughs> Um, But in, in the Gragnar Mountains, more outside my realm of expertise, to be perfectly honest. In the evergreen forests, bears, sometimes agitated elk and deer. You should see the evergreen forest. It's brutal. Boars are particular issue okay that's fair well I I don't want to take the first watch I'll, I'll, stick. I'll take first watch 
I'll do second. I'll take third. Okay. I'll Good on you, DM. I mean, <laughs> I'll take the last watch, I guess, this time. Hmm. Kumbara fails, and demons descend from the sky and. <laughs> <laughs> take me with you! <laughs> <laughs> Should never have given me the watch. The chaos! <laughs> So first, second, third, fourth. Perception. Mm. Six. Seven. <laughs> Perchek, you you hear something oh. in the woods, but you don't pay too much attention to it. Okay. It comes and goes. Right. You're Typical woods. Yeah, you're you're looking at the fire and just zoning out, listening. What'd you get? Eleven. What does Kumbara get? Ten. I got. She slays it. <laughs> you guys wake up and there's just a mountain of corpses around you. <laughs> 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 She's like just sweating and sleeping. <laughs> and just kidding. <laughs> like what? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning, all of you. Um. So the night passes uneventfully. No more pyre bears around. Um, Kumbara starts to set up her saddle one more time. And she she just reiterates, going forward, I would not mention Orin's obliterate. I would not mention the name Kumbara. I would not mention the name Orin. What should we call you? Kimberly! Did you just say the same thing? What did you say too? Cooney. <laughs> okay, I thought you said Cooney. Coon Coon? Coon Coon. I like that. Aww. It's a bit more feminine. <laughs> I guess. I would just call you Sean. We can, we can meet <laughs> in the middle and go Kimbooney. Kimbooney? Kimbooney. Hey, Kimbooney. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> we can call her Booney. Booney. Boon. Nope. Boonie. Unacceptable. I like Booney. Boons. Nope. Disrespected is how I feel. Boon right boon. Now. Bees. <laughs> we'll go with Kim. <laughs> Boop. Mm. Boop, Tim? Is that the best you can Rachel. Boop, Tim? Is that you say, Tim? Rachel. That's a great name. <laughs> well. <Wow>. Betty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim Booney. <laughs> we'll go with Kimberly. I think that oh. your names are fine still. The name Orin's Obliterate carries more weight than the individual names that you carry yourselves. So, okay. so hold, down to hold pride in that. that. Nothing talking else. Talking down to all the Urugar. You should tell her that. Tell her to me. We're just a group of traveling merchants yeah. called the Obliterate of Orin. Right. Did you know she she disrespected barbarians and Goliaths? That's right. It's okay. I'm too stupid to realize. Mm, who disrespected her? <laughs> oh, who? Who? <laughs> Just instigating. <laughs> Kim Burley. It's gonna take a while to get used to. Kim yes. Kim Burley. You don't have to change your voice, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was playing with the more feminine aspect of it. I was going to <laughs> say <laughs> that you are quite beautiful, Kim Burley. Is your beauty not known to these lands? I feel like they may recognize you. You don't think? I punch her in the enough? face. Do you really? What? No. It's going to give her a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps with <laughs> makeup. Put on this disguise. <laughs> 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 You're looking great. No one's going to recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's such a Your Tim beauty, thing to do, Kimberly. Too, Put on this disguise. <laughs> <laughs> It works. That's a great idea. Bring it! <laughs> Funky, you were saying? <laughs> Just that I would recognize your face. Would the you cloak like doesn't really do anything. I mean, you have luscious hair that everyone talks about. I don't know if you know this, but some people have cut locks of it off in, in the taverns. Mm. I'm, you know I'm not going to say. Does your hair have some magical properties? I didn't think so until now. I don't think it does, so. Uh, you know. But it's famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what do you recommend? Is there some something that we could... Well, does anybody have any, any means okay. of Okay, I just go, like, I go, Kumbara, 
I'm sorry. I do punch her in the eye. Uh, I have priest vestments. No! I have Can priest I stop vestments him? Okay. No, no. Wow. Can I jump in the you way? You knock Kunbara the fuck out. What? She rolled a natural one. Damn it. I was going to see if she would dodge it. <laughs> fuck! I need to start being tricky as Couldn't a Couldn't I... Why wouldn't Jump I? In? Why wouldn't she I roll a natural one? Wouldn't I roll an attack roll, and then based on that attack roll, it you know, like you normally do it. She so feels I'm standing it, right it, next to comfortable you know, in your guys' presence at this point. She didn't expect it, and I you're feel, Goliath. I feel so. pretty proud of myself for knocking her out. I go to like, well, that's not what I wanted. I apologize, <laughs> but hey, one punch. There was some and now guy her, who her ran through. Her hair is immediately a... disheveled. There we go. Her eyebrow is is swollen and definitely cut. Her eye is black. I put I pick her up and put her on the horse. <laughs> Which horse? Her horse. Okay. <laughs> and her her horse yeah. knows what to do automatically. You don't have to instruct it or guide it. It's just ready to continue. Is the horse Wearing its normal harness, or is it wearing its cold harness? Uh, normal harness. Okay. I guess we'll continue. Are we near a town? <laughs> You're not, you are about, uh, you should reach the city of Bresh in uh, midday today. Mm, okay. Let's, let's get on. Let's move it. All right. Before she wakes up and we're, st you know. I don't think we can just... Keep moving. Wow, wow. We have to come it's up with so a plan. Bad. Wait, what? When she gets on the horse, you, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> Her check. Her bar. <laughs> Kimberly. She jumps off of the horse, grabs you off of your own horse, <laughs> and slams you down <laughs> onto the ground. <laughs> well, you just wherever you were, up. you oh. are now slid down onto the ground and pinned by Kunbar. But it was like, you look hideous now. You're fine. You're disguised. I apologize at first. I'm sorry. It was the only way. I love you. <laughs> she I did it at the <laughs> utmost respect. She turns her head to you all. She's, is this normal in your group? No. If you, oh, it's not normal, her check. <laughs> you must. Uh, she winds her fist up <laughs> and <laughs> just punches you right in the face. I'd say that's fair, Kim. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> just ruthlessly starts Stop. letting loose on you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Kim. Yeah. Just letting loose on me. Yes. I your, rage. Your, your head is about no. I rage. half a foot in the mud I rage. right now. Okay. <laughs> just fucking knock her off. Um, roll a constitution saving throw. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna not use this one tonight. I'm gonna... Uh... Where's my other can I cast Entangle? I said, yeah, children, yeah. children, children, fight harder! I'd like Come to on. cast Entangle on the <laughs> two of them. You are, at the moment that you are dazed Where from her fighting? third punch, she stands up... Six? fixes her hair, puts her cloak over herself, looks down at you, and says, next time you punch me, <laughs> let me know. I did. I said I'm sorry. That was a warning. Fuck on your horse. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you oh God. want to fucking <laughs> see how I got my name? Do you want to see out. how I got mine? Children. We need to move, Kunbara. Children, children, this seems like a perfect time for a duel. So. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, Let's get it out now. We have no time hold for hold this. On, we on. need to move. Roll. Uh, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, God. Now, I know you're both very angry. You need to get that anger out. Or else we can't have a perfect day. Ah, seven. Oh, that's a one. Never mind. Looks <laughs> like you don't believe me. So <laughs> I'll just stop talking. And we just I'll look at each other like, mm, mm. not worth yeah. the time. Uh, the, the thought the of pits. King Triandal comes into her mind, and she starts to compose herself once more, uses her lance to, uh, or as a mirror to see <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck her check just did. <laughs> and she... It's just like, I guess this will help me stay in disguise now, though I fear it may bring more attention to me than before. 
Hey. I have a pair of priest vestments if you'd like to wear those. You could be a priestess. With a, with a group of, uh, you know, mercenaries to protect you. I dare not disrespect the holy order. <laughs> or, or my masterpiece. <laughs> Just blame it on the pyre bear. These aren't your regular priest vestments. They don't look it's white fine. and shiny. They yeah, are you fought a pyre bear. Fine, Kunbara. They are a bit different than that. But, I, sure. Hey, though. You, you jumped. One punch. You jumped out of the way of the magma breath I and hit your head on a rock. Do you still not trust me? No, not anymore. It's going to take a while. I was doing a disguise. You should never have trusted any of us from the start. We're going to do that. Noted. But you can trust noted. me. <laughs> <laughs> we work as a team, but... Kukbara. What? Yeah. Kukbara. I we always tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in. She Don't do it. She snaps her hand away with her <laughs> Gets back onto her horse. Uh, you can ah, trust cut. me. What we're gonna do is smut some in a cave. dirt in your face. <laughs> 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 Slinks back into the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I fear we best get moving, else I turn back and run straight back to Orin. <laughs> Fine. On we go then, trusty companion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I give her a, a a pint of ale. Oh, she downs it. <laughs> Throws the the mug or whatever you handed I her back to. I chase after it. Ceremonial. <laughs> it's a ceremonial <laughs> mug. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I, I get it. <laughs> I like, put it back in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kim. <laughs> her check. Just know that I almost lost myself in a fit of passion back there. You mean you punching my face into the ground wasn't lucky. passion? Wait and see. Oh. Maybe it'll be like Gorgilius. Fucking want to go right now. <laughs> I told you the perfect time You're for a duel. <laughs> the king takes precedence. We will show fight in the pits in the future if you would like. Or now. <laughs> It'll happen. Yes. I'm gonna send a text right now to the pits. Keep them. <laughs> What's keep it warm? Text. <laughs> <laughs> text. Keep part. the pits warm for me. <laughs> and they're just like, what does that mean? They just <laughs> increase My the pits fires. Are warm. <laughs> 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 Put him back in. <laughs> <laughs> what was that from Superstar? I don't know. Yeah, until further Something. notice, just the rest of the night is the ride is a sneer coming from Kunbara from it's the front. Not just not she can be despite far away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ride up next to her a little bit and just, just could have got the crown back when no she was respect. knocked out. Like you know, you could. Just Do I want to die? You guys no. could have a nice duel when we get to this town. You know. In this very moment, I would like nothing more, Barkir. But I know days from now, I would regret it. Well, you don't have to kill people. It's just a simple duel. You just fight each other. Barkir. Mm -hmm. If I dueled him right now, I would kill him. I can bring him back. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your sorceries. Have you now? That's <laughs> not <Yes>. good. <laughs> She she <laughs> points her head back to your horse back there. If he'd come back anything like that, no, it is not no a check I would no welcome. is beautiful. Look at his long, Twisted. his his old long. Never never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you hear a cough of like disgust from me. <laughs> so uh, you guys are all riding into the what is called the Black Valley, and that's because the mountain peaks and plateaus stretch so high that most all of the sun, save for exactly uh, noon in the day, its shadows cover the entire valley. Perfect. And the forest is behind you many miles at this point. It is just a rocky terrain, some foliage here and there. Go ahead and roll a, actually, what are your passive perceptions? You have a great passive perception, Barbara. No, I just my character is loving how there's these, these really like, you think they're they're black mountains or they're just regular regular looking mountains? They're more so in the the sort of like desert domain of mountains. They're not. It's dark so it's red like, clay. Oh, okay, okay, never mind then. He wouldn't he wouldn't really be that that into it then. Never mind. <laughs> no. Can he? He at first he was like ah. The night, mm, it calls me. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is everybody's passive perception? 11. 17. 
Eleven. Seventeen? That's what it says on my sheet. Hold on. I don't know how you get to that number. Okay, so you roll a perception check. It's twenty-two. Ten plus your modifier. Hold on. That's it, right? Ten plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah. So if your wisdom modifier is plus seven, then yeah, seventeen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, through this valley, you notice what looks to be, it could or could not be, that's sort of how subtle this is, a path leading off into the left a little bit in, in, it, it looks as though the canyon breaks off and in, into a, a path off to the left a little bit, but not a very obvious one, if that makes sense. And the the canyon, the it's, it's not straight down. It ascends at a, a pretty steep diagonal path, but this, it looks even treacherous. And that's the only path? No, it's not the only path. It's it's just, you. it catches your eye that, hey, there's another method or another path that way. I'm going to call out to everyone. You guys! There's an interesting path over here. Do we want to check it out for a second? Maybe get off our horses and hike a bit on it? Just around the corner there? Kumbar goes, If I had time to check out a path, I would have time to beat the fuck out of, <laughs> out of her check. So. Ah. Okay, Kim. <laughs> Onward we go. You're very burly. <laughs> Forget Real about salty. it. Real <laughs> salty. Is that a compliment or not? It's, it's Kimberly. Forget I even brought it up. <laughs> I I got a good feeling uh, about that path. <laughs> I say I, I guess we'll, we just keep going, but I'm gonna keep looking back at it. As you're looking back, it looks like it almost follows the path that you guys are currently taking. <laughs> Maybe we should. Roll so you can you can see bits of the different sparse foliage following up along, and uh, as well oh, as so a, a difference in level. So the other path is higher than us. Mm. Yeah. I, f I think we should go yeah. up the higher path. I feel like <laughs> we should it, go it up there. It would not fit a horse. Oh, on it. well then. Somebody go up the higher path. Everybody else take care of the horses. Kid! There could be a cave up there. I want to go. Send the druid girl. He'll go. <laughs> I'll go with the druid. With Tim. Okay. And also send the. Are you a halfling? I hitch my horse <laughs> dwarf. to Farkir's yeah, horse. So he now has a train of three horse. horses. No, and it's oh, okay. I put my horse on the Herchek's horse. Okay. Not, not, not my dead horse? Why not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'll hitch my horse to Herchek's horse and then go up the path with Tim. Okay. You guys continue forward, and this is a winding left and right uh, straight for a while path for a few hours, covering a few miles it's a little after 12 the sun has just revealed most of the canyon and then passed over encasing it in shadow once more i want you guys to roll another all of you um, a perception check I too got a 12. 17? 3. <laughs> Sun's in your eyes. <laughs> Used to caves. And he's feeling sick. <laughs> from the sun. <laughs> no, yeah, I think he said we're in the shadows now. Wow. Oh. Yes, but, y but you're sticking to the shadows within the shadows. Sort of, there are some ledges that are higher that... There's that second layer of shadow. You're just sort of tr trying to stick <laughs> as far into the corner of the, like as possible. Well. It's one. almost like you, your vigilance or, or utilizing this path for vigilance has been wasted on you. <laughs> 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 um, as you forgot why you're up here. You're just closer to the sun. Bad. And <laughs> Vark here seems to be the only one who notices some disturbed rocks in the y you're currently at a straightaway and maybe about 60 meters in front of you there are some 
uh, disturbed rocks at the bottom, and you can hear whispering. Though you don't know if it's if it's um, Tim and Thunkies or not. I thought it was an IMD. I want to like tell everybody to stop, right? Stop! 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 There's something up ahead, and I want to yell to them like, "Hey, you two, dwarves, check." What you said, sixty? Yeah. Sixty feet ahead. There's yeah. Check those rocks. Just those ones. You're good at rocks, aren't you, Durga? I'll give you all one turn to do something. Six seconds worth. As you see now on your side, continuing on the path, you see an Aarakocra and a human, both with bows hiding behind two different rocks. And you see farther along the path, this larger individual right behind a huge rock. And you look across the other side, and it seems very similar on the other side of the canyon. You immediately notice these individuals. Also roll a stealth check. Stealth check. So how many are there in total, you said? Three. They... Oh, never mind. Yeah, we wouldn't know. Yeah. You don't I, know. I got an eight. Thirteen. Hey. Okay. They could be friendly. Okay. I uh, guess we'll. Did you want to approach them? Man. They're in the direction they were headed? Yeah. Well They're 60 feet ahead of us. Yeah. They look like they're trying to hide. Remember, Kumbar is in the angry mood today. Mm. <laughs> Let's approach them, but I would also like to ready an attack. What attack are you ready? A uh, lightning bolt. Okay. I um. So at the first I sign of them trying to attack us, I would like to cast lightning bolt. I'm gonna look over at Thunky and be like, I too will. If I see this going south, ready a lightning bolt. <laughs> we're going to burn them to a crisp. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're just approaching them like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, our hands are up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> it's going to be great. He chose the dark side. <laughs> no, you. No, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't see them, so. Yeah, nobody at the bottom currently. Wait, where's Kunbara roll? See them. Did she did not roll. Damn. We all stopped. Like, go check it's that Because her eyes so fucked up. I'm not moving until you guys tell her. <laughs> So you guys stand up and start approaching the yeah. human in the Aarakocra with the the bows, which are halfway drawn as you're approaching them. What do you say? As they slowly start to look at you and this realization of, oh, fuck, goes across their eyes. H hang on, hang on. We, we, we mean nobody any harm. We just want to know what you're up to. Uh, you guys newcomers, how did you get up here? There's a path. We saw just it on our way. Just checking out the path. Where are you through? going? We're Bre headed. Bre yeah, Bre Bre Bresh. <laughs> Bresh. 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 <laughs> Attack! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, both of you, is it a roll to hit or not? Hold up. Hold up. Holy shit. That's a lot uh, of No, nah, I think it just hits. It, it says instantaneous. And the damage is 8d6. Per lightning bolt. What level spell is this? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a level 3. 
One hundred feet long and Perfect. five feet wide. Hmm. How close are they? Sounds like 60. an anaconda. Well, they no no they're point. they're at various points within the the t distance of sixty meters. They currently are about thirty feet in front of you. That's good because those lightning chainers are just like one person. It would say chain lightning. Yeah, that's true. Hey, you still have no, you don't have that ten foot chain anymore, do you? <laughs> no, but if you have that thorn with, it's kind of like the same thing. Wait, why, why wouldn't you have that chain still? Oh yeah, it's true, huh? Fuck yeah. Maybe you type in over there. Nothing. Mm. Do it Nothing. Anyway. That's exactly I, what I'm <laughs> typing. What did you add to it? Uh, My epitaph. Mm. Oh. What I want on my tombstone. It was a great DM. It was the best. Have DM. you guys figured out what your guys is lightning? Okay. Yeah. So what's going on with you two? <laughs> Mine is 26 damage. So it they have what do they have to roll? Dexterity, Constitution. <laughs> no, I don't. Dexterity saving throw. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah it's not just going to be straight permanent damage with no roll. It just roll. kills them, okay? <laughs> so then, okay, Death so ray. then, what do they have to beat? Like, what do what do we What's roll? What's your spell save DC? Spell and save and DC. what is the distance of it? Is this a line? One hundred. Yeah. yeah. Line. A hundred foot long, five feet wide. Oh. A hundred foot long. Okay. Interesting. Spell saving. What is what are both of your oh, spell safety DCs? Mine is fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Enzer. Sorry. No, it's the bird the third page. Third page. No, his is fifteen too. Okay. One second. I need battle music. Just this shit. Like, <gasps> ah! dun, dun, dun. So, you, fight him. you both, in almost this fusion dance moment, knowing what you're going to do, throw your arms back and throw, press them forward together, both of your palms touching the other's palms, <laughs> as this almost Kamehameha of swirling lightning damage combines with each other and bolts forward, searing this entire line of enemies as they just like, <gasps> <laughs> What's your combined damage? I had 24, oh, you had 26, 50. Yeah. 50. So the Aarakocra mm. tries to take off and flaps its wings once before getting turned into a completely <laughs> seared chicken. <laughs> as it's one of those comical, like, all of the feathers are off, and it looks pretty edible at this point. Hmm. The human... I'm going to minor action. Oh, sorry. Uh, th the human archer in front of the Aarakocra, in, in a similar fashion, just all of his upper body is almost completely wiped out. And both of them slide down the cliff. As you see these two, you see this this force of... You see East... Not East, oh God, Tim and Thunky with their hands up walking forward. And then you hear, attack! Coming from the opposing position. And then this blast of <laughs> lightning and radiant and energy no as they're just taken care of. And th you see the two bodies slide down the left canyon wall. And the, the large-looking individual just barely starts pressing the rock before he is – he's not killed or obliterated, but it's one of those – it passes uh, by him, and then his body is black, and his <laughs> eyes are the only thing visible <laughs> afterwards. And you hear, bing, 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 from his <laughs> eyelids. And uh, he is – just, he is looking very worse for wear. Um, now I want everybody to roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 20 to 25. 15 to 20. 11 to 15. 12. 11. 5 to 10. 5. One to five. Four. Shit. Well done, old boy. So, two enemies down. You hear rumbling in front of you 60 feet as two giant stones come tumbling down, blocking off the entrance. Do -do 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 -do. 
slam into each other and create this barricade of debris. And Kunbara readies her lances. Well, I actually didn't roll for her. <laughs> Aha! Your entrance is blocked and... Or sorry, your exit is blocked and somebody hops over the rocks. Pretty heavily armored in, in black armor and you can see some golden veins where the skin is visible. And it is sort of apparent that this is an Earth Genasi. No helmet visible. And his hair just looks like this dense collection of black dust perpetually floating down. And he has a mace in one hand and a shield in the other. And he goes, You lot seem to have a bounty on your head. How about we take care of that right now? And What's he is down? going to bash his shield and yell fiercely into the air. And I want everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Mm, wisdom saving throw. Are you, are you As the rocks now? start to vibrate underneath your feet. I thought it was a one. We, Jesus. Right now, we are in combat right now. Six. Wisdom saving throw. Luckily, I have a lot of wisdom. Wisdom's my favorite feature. <laughs> Please tell me it's not a one. It's not a one. <laughs> oh, that's good. What did Wait. everybody get? You said not Nine. to tell you. <laughs> <it's a one. laughs> <laughs> Who got below a 15? Everybody got below a 15. <laughs> okay. Kunbara is the only one where you see her cloak billow out from behind her and just stand firm, but all of you guys are almost immediately terrified of this this creature person um, as he is just he represents just a demon <laughs> of death <laughs> you were impressed by your electric kamehameha until you saw this guy hop over the rocks and shake the earth with his, with his presence <laughs> and I put all my cards on the table with that <laughs> hoping they would be God. feared he rolled a one <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He violently shit his pants. Yes, you, you fall to your knees, and <sighs> your some of your shins and ankles get, you know, some poop on them. Smeared <laughs> oh, over them. Oh, no. Gross. As you are now gross. <laughs> Second layer of poop? <laughs> um, okay, so that is his action. Kumbara is now up, and she is going to... Compel duel to the guy in front, this Earth Genasi, and he is going to roll. Compelled. Nope, he doesn't. He doesn't beat it as he just focuses wholly on her, and she is going to use her second wind to just rush at him and attack him mm -hmm. three times actually. That was fucking cool. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it misses, so it wasn't that cool. <laughs> it wasn't in the, th in the it thing. It misses again. <laughs> ah! Oh, what the fuck? Stop using those dice for <laughs> Okay. Um, she's rushing forward with her lance, swipes once. Her, her horse goes past this earth genasi and skids to a halt. Her horse jumps again, and she pounces on him with his spear, and he blocks it with, with his shield. And again, she rears up and just pierces the, the lance straight at him, and he holds firm and just slides back a few feet as he has completely held off Kumbara's onslaught. And next up is... Uh, ooh, 19. Mm. Her check. You take. Eh. Eh. Hey, you take seven, ten points of piercing damage as an arrow embeds itself into your lower back. Whoa. What the fuck? What pussy? And uh, roll dexterity saving throws you two. What the fuck? Seven. 
10. Can I roll above a fucking 10 tonight? Wow. 14. 14. 16. 17. 20 points of fire damage as a, as a, as a fireball um, impacts right in between both of your horses. Your horse, Varkir, is burned to cinders. <gasps> Which one? The the undead one. So it should be fine. <laughs> it's there's still so you know how you can attack an undead and mm. it'll go past a certain amount of hit points yeah. and then it'll no longer be a threat. Yeah. That just happened to your horse. What? But that would mean the both those uh, glyphs would break and he would explode with. Uh... Thanks for adding that addition on. But it goes off of me, though. <laughs> huh? It goes off of me, though. <laughs> what do you mean? The, the spells go off of me? You no, whoever, move your mic. whoever activates them. Yeah, your, your mic is, like, oh, way higher. Right voice now. levels yeah. are... Yeah. Whoever activates the glyphs, or whoever breaks them, in this case, it is the horse who has just taken yeah. a severe amount of fire damage <laughs> when it is not actually a living creature with any vitality or constitution to speak of. It was a cool horse, man. And so the, the, the flame goes off, and the horse goes up in flames, and then this green flame, this secondary green flame, bursts inside of it, consuming it. And then what other glyphs did you have in there? It was just animated dead, so it would just turn any, anything that died around it into an undead that I control. <laughs> so, yeah, you see it get th thrown up <laughs> against the wall, and then this green sickly energy spirals around its limbs and it just hops back up <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh, oh. and it makes this okay. almost like dumb donkey <laughs> chew where it's like <laughs> wow. just not even aware of the wow. surrounding. i just scratch my head and just like what happened to the ray of sickness oh the ray of sickness <laughs> Wait, so it was Ray of Sickness and Turn Undead? Yeah, Ray of Sickness and Animate Dead. Or Animate so Dead. So Ray of Sickness would have basically just been like a, like a beam coming out of his mouth and then... As it exploded against the wall, it was just vomiting <laughs> this green <laughs> maker. It's like, but it's back up now. You just you got all the bad stuff out of you, buddy. All right. And this came from behind the 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 position where the right rock fell down Did you say about 60 meters away. 20 points of damage? 20 points total. Oh my damage. gosh, wow. Uh, and you see the little bit of, of sun that's poking through get blocked out by wings as they jump off of the right ledge. And you see a spear of an Aarakocra come down. And it's actually hopping over and it's going to attack you, Thunky. No! Thunky! Does a 17 hit your armor class? Yeah. I think it does. Here we go. You take six points of piercing damage as your... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. As it slams its spear into you, and he's now in between both you and Tim. Mm. This <laughs> menacing Aarakocra adorned in this sort of dust clay tan um, colored armor <laughs> which you notice most all of them are adorned in and now Varkir you are up okay so who's around me right now is it, well, I guess right now Tim not Tim sorry Herchek is around you and Kumbara is in the midst of the enemy about I realize I just instantly ran 60 meters with her. <laughs> her horse so is great. <laughs> is everybody with is who, who's within 30 feet of me? I guess I want to say her check is. Her check is. Uh, well, this is gonna take longer than that, so I won't do that. I will do something else instead. <laughs> a place you can move that you would be in range of all of us. If there is only uh, like a drawing or something. Hmm. Uh, uh, I can take care of that quickly. That'd be good visual. So I'm going to yeah. cast cure wounds on her. Well, how, how I'm going to cast cure wounds on her check. Thanks, man. Because I'm pretty much almost dead, and I haven't even done on anything yet. Level at, at level two. All right, I am going to thank you. So Typical fight. 
in D and D. Sixty points. If you didn't feel like you were threatened, there would be no point. So it's two I D8. feel heavily threatened every time we get in a fight. Two D eight. Just like, all right, you take sixteen points of damage. Thirty-two point eighteen. Where are these people coming from? Out of woodworks. So that Eric Crocker dude is in between me and Thunky. You are Thunky. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Super vicious. You looking. make really good bird sounds. <laughs> it's kind of impressive. It was born to bird. Seriously. <laughs> Gans over there, like, oh. I could, I could use birds. <laughs> you know what birds could also use? Pets. I would make good bird noises if you would only touch me. Some more. Mm. Mm. It's like roll back into my oh. comfortable bed. Gannon's pal is. Ooh. Is the air cracker Ooh. flying ab above us, or did he land? He l he landed, with his spear coming down towards you, and you just barely got out of the way before being skewered. But he sliced your that's left that's cheek that's down your you. left breast How much? down your left 2D8 hip. Where's 2d8 plus 4. So roll 2d8. Oh, roll You're the one that's healing, Rummy. <sighs> if you were that doing my favorite breast. the healing, <laughs> left one. Not my left one! <laughs> or d8, whatever it is. Um, and next up is... D8? Hmm? Hmm? Thunky. Oh, you you were doing oh healing word? God. Yeah, no, okay. cure wounds, level 2. So he's 2d8 plus 4. Wow, that is... Are you sure it's 2d8 plus 4? It's like it's level two. I, I, it's, I, I'm casting at level two. Originally, it's a level one spell. Yeah, but I thought level two just adds one more d6. It adds one more d8. Because it's a d8. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's why I was like, ah. Come on. This feels weird holding one heavy one and one light one. That's what she said. Seven, five. So add four to that, and you got your, your shit. <laughs> Seventeen. No, 16. Yeah, 16. <laughs> if DM says 17, it's I don't it's 23. <laughs> sure, man. Thank you. Hmm. Thunky, you are up. Unless you want to use a, your bonus action and movement to bark here. Oh, what I can I, I do? I think I'm going to transfer everything over to paper. Action. I'm tired of hearing his laptop fan. That's why I like the good old pen and paper. No, it's just this, the the 1060 versions of the razor blades has this issue. Come on. No, that's not, not the 1080. It's just this, this uh, the 14 it's inch. It's annoying. It's not it either. Dang it! Where in the world battle. is it? Okay, yeah, like what is this? This is not battle this is, music. This is like slow, Twin Peaks dramatic. Battle music. Fuck no. <laughs> 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 this is like chilling <laughs> in town. Really <laughs> Yeah, okay, I could get down with this. Ah, here it is. Should just read it aloud. Right, so, uh, can I cast Sanctuary on myself? It's one bonus action as casting time. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so yeah, creature within range is warded from attacks. Any creature who targets this warded creature with an attack or spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must select a new target or lose the attack or spell. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with, with Sanctuary. Hmm. So pulling your hand close to your body, this prism made <laughs> out of pink highlighted lines <laughs> shimmers <laughs> around you and disappears. But there's there's always this sort of glimmer effect, almost like this slight mirage to you. Thunky, you are up. This Aarakocra staring you in the face. Okay, so I'm going to look down at like where it cut me, and I'm instantly furious. So I'm going to take my, um, my thorn whip and whip it at its legs and basically like bring it down even closer. To the ground, like really, just like, or did it already land? It already landed. Okay, yeah. in that case, I'll just whip it around its neck. Okay, go ahead. So, 
do you want to are you more focused on grappling it or damaging it damaging it okay go ahead and roll an attack roll Twenty-four. Definitely hits. Cool. <laughs> For two points of damage. Do you use any other modifier for that? The thorn rip whip. <laughs> Wait, no. Add strength. It should just uh, be your wisdom, shouldn't dexterity? it? Dexterity. And like your whatever your spellcasting modifier is. Oh, I get to roll another one. <laughs> so six, six points. <laughs> you, you have to add. It, has it, to it doesn't say anything about uh, adding. Then anything. I think that is actually how it works. So, huh. uh, with six points, you take a half step back, throw your whip around its neck, and yank it tight to where a lot of the thorns start to slide past its neck as it cinches around it and pulls it close. I'll say that it can't fly away any longer, but you haven't exactly inhibited its mo movement other than that. Can I use a bonus action and hit it with a hand axe? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are no longer. I mean, you never <laughs> were a barbarian. <laughs> Fine. But if you wanted to... She does have a hand axe. It's just not... It's that's a full action, right? Yeah. Yeah. You still have your bonus action and movement if you wanted to. Mm. So let's see. I guess for now I'll just move back. So does the thorn okay. whip stay around him? Yeah. Can I like take the other end of the thorn whip, you know, and like just hit him with it? <laughs> 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 just looking for more damage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anything. Uh, no, unfortunately. That would be <laughs> Can I cinch it tighter? <laughs> <laughs> trying to like, throw him off balance or something? Yeah, like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> If, if you wanted to, say you can use your bonus action to try and move him in some direction with the with the rest of your. Is there movement. like Ooh, there's the a edge. cliff? Yeah, <laughs> there's a cliff here, right? Kind of. Like okay. Thirty feet up. Roll a strength check, and he'll he'll roll an opposing strength check. Okay. Yes. You. Oh. Twenty-two. <laughs> so, you lock eyes with this creature and it notices the subtle movement of your eyes looking off the edge and its <laughs> eyes go wide <laughs> as it tries to reach for the it completely <laughs> drops its spear and tries to reach for the thorn and you just <laughs> <laughs> and sweep him off of his feet and throw him <laughs> off of the, the ledge Good. and he's now just hanging on <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah on the side and we'll say I mean, roll a d6 and we'll see Sort of sa one point of, of damage as he, he slams his beak into no, the side a little bit. Uh, uh, he's about <laughs> he's about maybe like seven ten feet off uh, the ledge. Yeah, yeah. Your I'll horse is twenty feet at like the bottom. Jump up and bite him, but no. <laughs> Homebrew rules here, <laughs> folks. Get used to it. And uh, next up is um, the barbarian is going to or sorry ah in his in his anger he's going to run up towards you and he is just going to throw a hand axe at you <laughs> Tim oh <laughs> my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope he can hit a small target who is poop Hiding from the in sun? Yeah, poop. Covered in poop. <laughs> Blending in. With the other area that I pooped oh. on. Next to me. He <laughs> slips on the poop. Definitely hits. Oh, it doesn't hit. And one arm throws a hand axe. The other arm throws a hand axe. <laughs> one embeds itself <laughs> into your right shoulder for... D6? 
Ah, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. As you are now realizing what pain truly is, and the warmth of your bl own blood pooling down and combining itself with your poop. Make one hell of a blood god painting. Um, <laughs> think you know pain. <laughs> you don't know anything. That's <laughs> cave pain is way worse. That's exactly the look <laughs> that you're, you're conveying <laughs> in your situation as the, the axe slams itself into your right shoulder and you're just looking up at him like, this is nothing. <laughs> this is nothing. Uh, Tim, you're up. Um, you're the DM. You tell me. Uh, so I, I forgot to times, roll yes. the... The, my magic surge dice. I did it. It rolled on a 20. Choose. <laughs> Choose. Whichever one you want. He turns oh. Into a pink pony. <laughs> you could effectively re un age yourself. You <laughs> chose. <laughs> you chose uh, I actually don't like being years. a little bit younger. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my aches. <laughs> my page myself from when I was years. 110. Check one foot again, Magnus. <laughs> yeah, see, so you try to go. For might just, he just yeah. needs it. Yeah, yeah, DM yeah. powers <laughs> might work in real life. Do yeah. you want to chance it? Oh, yeah. If you roll a natural you one, fart? you chanced it. Mm. If it'll help. <laughs> Do you remember what this song is from? No. You are an ice bridge, Max. This is from Lost Odyssey? That was... Magnus. How do you not remember the ice bridge, Max? How do I not remember the song that was from a game that I only played but got stopped on an ice bridge? That was towards the end. 14 years so ago. so close to the end. That 14? Fuck you. That game is at least... You could consider it like a four-year-old game. <laughs> we played it... Even though it's about a 10-year-old game. Look at Skyrim. <laughs> Maybe even an 11-year-old game. <laughs> Probably. Skyrim's a I'm not gonna game. I don't even remember songs from shows that we watched White like Rabbit, a, last night. I think you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I know that. I tried adding Hunter songs into the most recent episode of Assassins and Dragons. <laughs> when Did you not hear it when, when the crown got pulled out? I don't listen to music. Mm -hmm. I don't remember music. I also the, oh the my heroes just dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know my hero music. I don't know any music. Don't remember it. It doesn't stand out to me. Music is sick. It's crazy. That is quite so. That music doesn't stand out, but the actions do. I'm more so focused on what's happening rather <laughs> than the know, background. But I mean, like, is it music in general or just in shows? Just in shows and movies. Music accentuates anything going on in the scene. I mean, that's why it exists. At For the me time, it, it pulls it's it all it's together. An, it's an in, the, in the moment thing. Once the moment has passed, I don't remember anything but I the see. action. Hmm. Tim, your decision? I have a fiery look in my eye as he shoots ice out. Uh, essentially, my next... or it is technically the the your spell next turn. that I cast in the next minute will be maximum damage. What? Mm. Roll an intimidation roll. Just by default, you don't. It doesn't cost you. It's a free action. Oh. Oh. As <laughs> your anime moment has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> um, fire. Wait. Holy shit. Uh, Ability from your eye. 25. When the axe embeds itself into your shoulder, you look up. <laughs> fire exploding out of your eyes. And he, the barbarian, this giant, Goliath also, by the way, um, most of your associations or knowledge of barbarians comes from Herchek himself, and he's not easily moved. This guy 
drops his weapons and starts running in the opposite direction. <laughs> and you, you, you almost, like, through your fire-filled... I don't know if it's rage or what sort of drastic emotion is going through you right now, but you hear, like... <laughs> coming from the direction of the barbarian. <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to cast... Cave Matic Orb. <laughs> <laughs> My old little twist. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I don't. Hold on. This one's interesting. Oh no, I, I just rolled a d20. So hopefully it actually hits. Or does it? I don't know what that means. Maximum damage. So mm -hmm. does that guarantee that it hits? Do I even need a roll? You are hurt check right now, okay? Any max hmm? centric puns? It hits. <laughs> yes, go for it. All right. So then, what is the maximum amount of damage? What? Actually, what describe your spell? Describe chromatic orb to me really quickly. Okay. Cave matic orb. You hurl a four-inch diameter orb. sphere of energy at the creature that you see within range. Uh, choose acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison or thunder for a type of orb you create. And then make a spell, a ranged spell attack against the target. If the attack hits, the creature takes 3d8 of the type uh, that you choose. Okay, so what's 90 feet. Um, <coughs> I'm going to choose poison. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to see. <laughs> 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 and it's gonna be wow, that's, that's a lot of pop. He's but <laughs> oh my god, green tendrils We're start curling down. off of your body and your knuckles and fingers as you're forming this ball. And it's a good thing he's not looking behind you anymore because you look like a thing ripped straight from the seventh level of hell. And you fling it forward, and it is just putrefying the land as it goes forward. Any sort of foliage in the way just instantly withers and dies. And as he's just frantically running away it catches up with him and you can see him just turn into muck and his flesh rips off of his body and just melts off and he slides down as he's just like <coughs> oops uh be yep slides down onto the ground at the base and is uh yeah he's dead obviously yeah. dead that that my friends is cave pain <laughs> <laughs> You can see the trail from his body is, is still sort of melting the rock <laughs> inwards. <laughs> okay, next up is her check. About time. Can I... No, this, is, this is just like a Those cliff face, are right? 30 feet up, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, all right. There's not much I could do. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rage, <laughs> which breaks... The fear that he has upon me. Okay. And I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna rush him. Right there. And I'm gonna take. Uh, Gotta look at him. Two. Reckless attacks at him. <laughs> okay. Because I know I'm gonna roll super low probably. God damn it, what is up with these dice? First one doesn't probably hit us. Uh, 11. 14 for the first one? Mm -hmm. I doubt it. He's wearing armor and a shield. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It does not hit. Uh, all right. Second, uh, it's a natural 19 for the first one. Yes. Do you have any sort of advantage at with Kumbara within five feet? Or does no. that... Okay. Uh, so yeah, so the second one's uh, 25. Okay, as he's pushed back by Kunbara's spear thrust, he turns that shield into you and, and gets pushed back even farther and then reveals himself to you in full confidence as you take your axe. Hmm. And he like will roll. Do you have lightning damage still? Or? Yeah, he has to mix the, 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 the dex... Save fails the deck save. Go ahead and roll the two d six. So he takes uh, f ten points of uh, bludgeoning damage. 
as well as seven points lightning damage. What's the total damage? Uh, Seventeen uh, points of damage. Okay. Slamming him uh, into the shield, pushing him back a little bit, and him revealing himself, you uppercut him with your axe, severing some of his armor and meeting some of his skin. As, or following your blade's thrust upward, it's almost like you invoked it itself, is one solid lightning bolt <laughs> coming up from the sky, and you can actually feel a reaction from the tattoo that you have on your Ooh. chest as well. It just starts to heat up, and he takes 17 points of damage, as he almost wasn't uh, expecting. Something like that. Wait, does that lightning give us an give us more lightning damage, or does it just do nothing? Oh, never mind. He well, looks up. cool. Man, mm. it's glowing. Yeah. As Tim's eyes are fiery red, her checks are this deep, light blue. <laughs> All right. Now. Picturing seven to eternity. <laughs> the got this is the dad. Got fucking like the 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 Super Saiyan two electricity going around. And with that, uh, he the the Earth Genasi, what seems to be leader of these this this group of individuals, looks only slightly hesitant as confidence refills his eyes, and he looks at. He sort of eyes both you and Kumbara up, and he goes, I see why she wanted you all dead. The threat you represent, it is tangible and exciting. Bring it on! And uh, he's not going to try and fear you again, but he is going to uh, attack you once and Kumbara three, two times. Good, because uh, I forgot I was feared. Since he still has compelled duel from Kumbara. <laughs> Hmm? You only had, so no, you had oh had shit! Had, yeah, would so all of them be towards? No, so Take any at his disadvantage. Yeah, any attack that is not towards that person has disadvantage. I will do the two versus Kumbar first. So he just gets one roll on me instead of two. Uh, 32 to attack? <laughs> Come on now. Uh, what's your armor class, though? Uh, I believe it is 14. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's 14. Okay, so his first attack towards Kumbara, she parries with her spear downwards, and then with the, the bouncing motion coming off of her spear, he's going to slash directly across towards you, and he actually does have quite a hefty uh, modifier. It already hits Probably with like 16 strength. Plus 16. No, it doesn't quite get to that level, but 14. plus nine. <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm blown away Damn. at some of the modifiers <laughs> that I hear from this fucking this is this, this is this from table. D &D not only beyond. not not this only from, from you, beyond. but everybody else. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. What's your modifier? Isn't it plus for my strength? Yeah, four for your attack. Four. No, because you're oh plus proficiencies. Yeah, seven. Yeah, exactly. It's not that far behind. I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, there's, there's other times. I've just been blown away. Uh, one second. Tim has that effect on people. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly just Kat's characters. Do you have a plus four Her? for your strength? Right now, yeah. That's that f that boggles no, my you know. mind. Yeah, oh. I do. Oh shit, yeah. Because you're a druid. You literally don't have, hate me you have you ain't 19s me. in all Which of your shit. Don't dwarf. hate me because A dwarf, too, though. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's where that strength comes from. Even still then, no negatives. Uh, <laughs> roll a wisdom saving throw. I'm ugly. You're that helps you. are literally a juggernaut. I'm really ugly. You are a juggernaut. <laughs> roll a wisdom saving throw as you feel this I am so intention of malice shooting from him. I sw I've wait. been rolling. Don't, don't don't worry about it. You 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 <laughs> you perceive this malice coming from him, but you are not moved by it whatsoever because you're raging. You're not that bad. Uh, Kunbara also, you see her eyes sort of flare up for a bit, and then sturdy herself back, and 
uh, you you take eight points. No, reduced to four points of bludgeoning damage from the mace. Kunbara takes eight points, and Kunbara. Oh, sorry, she doesn't. Sorry, she takes a total of eight points. You take a total of four points of damage. She just <laughs> trying to slam into both of you. Um, okay, next up is Kunbara. And she is going to... Fuck it. She's just going to attack the, the shit out of him. Um, three times. Six. Misses. Misses. God damn it, Kobara! <laughs> Come on! Um, she is, is with her lance just... Doof, doof. And then with her last one, she managed to manages to get in past his shield and did did he roll to do the compelled duel like resistance oh he wasn't trying to resist it oh he's no. she is the biggest threat to him and you are a secondary just that's because that's she's fine i forget you're on your horse too I was not picturing that. Are you still on I your horse? No, I'd fuck. Why would I be on my horse? <laughs> Just jump off immediately. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck horses. Um, okay, so she does a total of fourteen points of damage to him. On one hit, that's still impressive. Yeah, on 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 one hit, if she misses most of her others. And if she actually did do something, it'd be impressive. And uh, she is just gonna stand firm. Better not leave me. Vark here. Do Does a 14 hit your... Wait, did... Wait, where... I you did get to go because you, you healed her check. Yeah. Okay, now okay. it's the second round. Oh, okay. So, uh, does a 14 hit your armor class? Okay, an arrow. <laughs> it goes right past you. Well, plus you didn't do the uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. Anybody who tries to so he it. just got a, si a 17 for his wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. This is his next one. It's okay. It, it, both both miss you, as as one. It's almost like it goes wildly off into the air, and the other one, you see him steal himself and try and like focus his shaking arms, mm. and it still manages to <laughs> go um, right past you. Your shot. It's off. <laughs> it failed. <laughs> He's like, mm, you're gonna yeah. die now. <laughs> and now, the sorcerer. He is just going to, you see his the m almost the texture of his being change to a more solid, rocky texture. Mm. He's, he's armored up. Kill him. And he is going to move <coughs> over here. Who's this? What is that? That's just a right <laughs> thing. Now the Aarakocra is up and he is going to make a strength check funky as he's going to steady himself on the on your rope he's going to put his feet against the rock surface that he's up against and he's going to try and jump off and flap his wings and bring you with him <laughs> wow <laughs> Uh, okay, wow, that's great. So he takes three points of damage as he tries to jump up, or as, as he tries to jump as you pull at the same time and just slam him back into the wall. Varkir, you're up. Are these two within five feet Prepare of each what other? what you want to do, Thunky. You're next. I am. Can I tell okay. if those two are within five feet of each other? They're within ten feet of each other. Okay, then never mind. I'm not going to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll I guess. I don't know what the rules are. There's a five foot distance between them. This is if they're within five feet of each other. Okay, then th no, they're not. It wouldn't work. Uh, and I'm just going to, uh, I guess, five, 10, okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I'm going to move two right. Is that? Mm, I'll move to right. Can I move to right here? 
you. Technically, no. If 30 feet is to the net, to the to the right of it, it would take double your movement to move diagonally. I found out, but yeah, oh, fuck diagonally. it. Yeah, go for it. Also, Donkey, remember that you have the sort of Valkyrie earpiece that extends your movement five. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm 25 right here. Um, actually, I'm just gonna go. And I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. You get within melee range and then cast Cure Wounds on yourself? Well, I'm still five feet away from him. Okay. I'm just getting to where he can't, you know, do a fireball on <laughs> me. <laughs> without catching his buddy, at least. Oh, wow. So I got five points of healing. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay, next up, Stunky, you're up. Stunky, as long as the barbarian doesn't have any wisdom, I'm fine. Should start doing <laughs> that, by the way. Hmm? Telling people who's on, like, who's next. Oh, uh, so Tim, you're up two turns after Thunky. You're the next up in the player turn. So how high is this cliff again? Is this like thirty feet? Thirty feet up. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of fancy. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna tell Tim, get on, and then I'm going to transform into a giant goat, and then, so I'll be right here. Tim's gonna like hop on my back, and what I would like to do is, cause obviously this guy's gonna fall now because I'm not holding onto that thorn mm -hmm. whip. So I would like to, like, as he's falling, have him break my fall, you know? Like, maybe jump off of his back and then land. Is it a sheer cliff face? Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's descending diagonally slightly. <laughs> yeah, right? right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. For a goat, that should be fine. Um, go ahead and, yeah. So you turn into a goat. <laughs> You pick up Tim, He's which, on I'll my back. which I'll say is your action to do so. That's fine. And you, yeah, you sort of go underneath Tim's legs, and you feel this sort of creamy substance in between you and him. As, <laughs> <laughs> as oh as no! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <You're> I forgot. <laughs> your days for but a second, not oh, not wash it. not enough to prevent you from doing your next action as you jump off of the cliff in the view descends straight down as this Aarakocra is trying to gain its bearings with its ring wings and roll I'll say an opposing dexterity. I already ro rolled for the Aarakocra. Roll a acrobatics. acrobatics check. Yeah, thank you. Acrobatics? Yeah. Uh, you gain the stats of the mountain goat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, just use your own stats. It'll take too long for right now. Well, hmm. I have dexterity stats for the goat. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, if you want to use those <laughs> instead, yeah. Yeah, I'll do I'll do acrobatics. Okay. <laughs> Natural <right>. twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I land that. You. Bitch. It's the Aarakocra <laughs> is is <laughs> falling <laughs> and trying to to gain its bearings <laughs> as you find purchase on the cliff going downwards and you. Running up towards it as it's falling, and you almost jump at it with all of your hooves and <laughs> <laughs> impale it. Yeah, perfectly. Are they down here now? Wow, yes, they are. We're down there. That and thing explodes. <laughs> Good. The <laughs> yes, the uh, the Aarakocra was used as a buffer to <laughs> so that you didn't take full damage on your 30, 30 foot impact. Perfect. And just the impact of itself, due to its diagonal nature, you've almost broken it and stretched the Aarakocra apart Fantastic. as it is completely uh, dead in a scene of gore underneath your feet. Does that mess up a druid? I mean, you technically killed a bird. No. Brutally murdered it. Thank you. He was you. a bastard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it tried to impale me. It cut my left cheek and my left boob. It's dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tim, you are awesome. Um, how far away is this? This? How, how far away are they? How far are they? Are away? Are Five feet per square. God damn it. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 60 feet? We'll say within 90 feet. <laughs> yeah, 30 feet out. Yes. <coughs> okay, so I am going to um, swirl my staff around and then cast. Uh, it's called, it's a fancy one, Chaos Bolt. Ooh. Um, I'm going to swirl like it around and then bring it down like this. And I'm, I'm clutching real hard with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's going to, it's going to, like, charge up. But let me just Before roll you some go dice further. first. <laughs> 20 not natural. I would like to fire at this guy right that's here. The archer. Yep. The archer. Um, I'm sorry. What was this one? Is that no, her? That's just her. Her dice. Oh, okay. And then I roll two d8s. Oh, I'm missing that one. Okay. Six. Th that determines what kind of damage it is. So, poison damage again, and then this determines the damage. Seven. Plus, oh, a d6. Shit, Just 13. Yeah, falling asleep to this battle music. I need more in my, in my... Rock and roll theater. Alright. <coughs> uh, so, I, 17 to hit. Uh, also hits. Er, oh sorry, 17 damage. And Ooh. then... 17 damage? Yep. Uh, poison poi damage. Poison damage? Yes. So you curl your fingers around this it blasts poison beam. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like upside down. <laughs> Thunky <laughs> has to, to dig her heels into the ground lest it be pressed back into the into the back of the mountain. And you just <laughs> as it swirls outward, almost r slightly raining down this really grotesque looking uh, droplets of rain. Pretty sure like a Bolta cannon of poison. So it, it impacts and then explodes around it. And he's like, ah, ah, my face, my hair, my face, oh, my toes, my hair, my face. <laughs> what? Wow. My toes, my hair, my face. It's a song. It's Damn. <laughs> Chest, uh, toes, knees, hairs, and face. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, the classic. Her check, you are up. Unless right. you want to do anything extra with your bonus action and movement, Tim. Um, pull up on the, the main a little bit, you know, and then get one of those awesome goat on two <laughs> legs. Yeah. As there's just still some poison energy billowing out of your hand, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys can't <laughs> understand it, but I those goat know. cries are me saying like, stop! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> 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 oh, so getting <laughs> some it's getting on your fur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Now you know how the horse felt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the poop is still there. <laughs> oh, my pristine white fur. All right, two reckless attempts. Okay. Uh, brown uh, sneak across it. Natural oh, nice. twenty. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Roll your next attack. So you've got two hits. What area would you like to cripple of Don't this man? Don't too bad. <laughs> uh, his um. Oh, uh, cripple and then just damage? Yeah. Uh, cripple his mace arm. Okay. And then, yeah, just damage the chest. Like, so, like, take off his arm and then come right back at that open area. Just like Mortal Kombat, you swing your axe into his right arm and it embeds itself almost all the way through, cutting the bone in his forearm and his mace flies out of his hand in the opposite direction. And you rear back with your next swing and slice open part of his rib cage. Go ahead and roll damage. Double the first one. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 28 for the first one. 
And then uh, 28 for the first one. Uh, let's put that over here. Uh, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points for the second one. No lightning damage? Hold the fuck on. Make the dexterity saving throw. Oh, yeah. Wow. Must be 14. He beats it. Okay. Uh, and then he takes uh, four points lightning damage. So. Let me, let me pull up the calculator. I'm bad at math. Uh, the calculator app on that? On, on, your, on, your, on your Excel sheet? Hmm? Um. I probably should add that. Takes 45 points of damage in total. Okay. W is there anything else you want to do with your bonus or movement or? It's a lot of damage. Uh, movement, no bonus. I'm going to take a healing potion. Normal. Okay. What is it? Do, do, do. 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Ah, s 8 points of healing to myself. And that will end my turn. Okay, uh, he is up. And he almost gurgles to himself. This sacrifice is for you. And you see his right arm, the mangled one, maceless mangled right arm his left <laughs> sorry his his right gauntlet starts to glow red and he jumps at you make a dexterity saving throw his oh shit 14 6 9 11 15 uh 17 18 points of damage as yeah, his gauntlet superheats as it touches your face and his fingers curl around your head. And all you see is this brilliant yellow white as you hear. <laughs> and also, oh, how much is that? 17 points of damage? Yeah. Varkir, you take that, and so does Kumbara as. as well. Yeah, as he has detonated, a f also he takes it, as he has detonated a fireball using his gauntlet, and it detonates across the 30-foot Do radius. Oh, shit. oh, sorry, make a dexterity saving throw. Kumbara also does. Kumbara does not make it. Seven. <laughs> Yeah, you, you are all consumed by this temporary flame. And out of the flame, you hear, Rah! as he's running towards Kumbara, and he's going to take two more attacks on her. His glove did that? His glove did that, yeah. Oh, also, you notice that he's he's running only with a one of those wavy daggers with his left hand. He's completely dropped his shield, oh, and his right hand is gone. He's getting desperate. Uh, he's, it doesn't look like desperation. It's, it seems like a berserker still trying to inflict as much damage as possible. As a barbarian, I noticed this as desperation. <laughs> 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 you desperate son of a bitch. So would my wisdom saving throw have saved me at all from that, or no? No, your dexterity saving throw. No, but I still have sanctuary on. Oh, no, not from this. That's, that's a physical attack that's directed towards you. Now I'm very confused. <laughs> Can you read the full description to me? Yeah, okay, let's see. So my sanctuary spell. Creature within range of the from attack. Any creature. Oh, anyway, is that lit? Yep, yeah, attack or spell. That must be first make a wisdom saving throw. So anytime I'm worried against attacks or spells. How long? I'm still kind of because this is a like a radius effect, and that affects somebody's mind rather than like you were not the target. Yeah, that's why I was like. I'm gonna make a call and say that you just make your dexterity saving throw. Here, that would not quite apply because huh. it's not directed towards you. Very well. No, I, I, I don't do that. I, I, I took 17 points of damage. 
<laughs> okay. Um, and he is going to take uh, one attack towards Kumbara's arm. And he's going to use a maneuver to disarm that bitch. Doesn't Kumbara almost like child's play? Just slaps the the dagger <laughs> out of his <laughs> hand. Shoes on the other foot now. And, and, and yeah, now he's looking desperate as he <laughs> he just with uh, his his other hand is just gonna try and fucking grab her spear and rip it from her. He's gonna try the same thing. Drop the dagger and just go for the grab. Yeah, he's he ha he's a okay. he has maneuvers, so he's just now trying to to utilize them. And uh, he has now just sort of grabbed Kumbara's lance, and they're in this lock together. Next up is Kumbara. They'll make a strength, opposing strength check. Who's that for Kumbara? Uh, sorry. No, I need help. Is Varkir. You're, well, up. you're up next. I need help, but I will attack this guy anyways. No, you're not up yet. She. You're up next. Uh, what? Oh. You're on deck. Prepare your moves. Oh, yeah. Write them down. There's this intense moment where she slowly slides the spear out of his grip, and he's holding on, gritting his teeth as the blade, <coughs> the sharp blade, slices past his fingers. Cuts off a few fingers. Cuts his hand. Four. Three points of damage. He's just giving it every single thing he's got. And she is going to use staggering smite on him. And she yells towards the sky. Ah! What does she yell? What, what, what the fuck does she yell? Vandria! Give me strength! And it echoes throughout this canyon and almost seems to focus in on her lance as she embeds it into him. And 4d6 on top of her regular damage. Nine. Fourteen. Eighteen. Nine. Those are really good. Eighteen. Twenty-five <laughs> points of damage as her, her voice seems to accentuate the strike into him <laughs> and he tries to oh grab shit. it again <laughs> with his hand and it just <laughs> s slams <Yeah>. into <laughs> yes you you can almost <laughs> feel an association to this yell in her check's name slash honor <laughs> and he is his almost his entire right arm is just torn asunder um he's next arm he's armless now huh is he armless now <laughs> no his his left arm is still perfectly intact his right arm she just it, it, she got in between the shoulder and almost made it useless. So it's just hanging there right now. I thought I cut his arm off. No, it didn't. It just ruined it. Oh. Yeah, and and uh, his his face t twisted in visible pain to her the psychic damage that he took. Desperate. So the archer is going to try and help him, and he's going to take sh two sh a shot at you, Varkir, and a shot at her. Check. He has advantage. Um. Does a 13 beat your sanctuary? No. 15 beat it. Okay, he's still torn between shooting at you, and he can't quite beat the, the mental struggle, and he, he shoots way off into the distance. And a six natural 16. Uh, you... Oh, yeah. Natural 17. Longbow for you take seven, three points of piercing damage uh, as the arrow hits you in the back as you are, are, are still reeling from the fire blast from this Janasi. Yeah, I am crispy. And the sorcerer now. Who's after the sorcerer? Tim mm -hmm. and Thunky, I would like you all to make a constitution, or you two, to make a constitution saving throw. Right, get away from my horse, you're gonna kill it. <laughs> what is, is that, six or nine? Thirteen. Six. 
No, both of you take... 97 points of damage. I mean, it, it could get there. There's Where another, is... Another, like, ah, fireball. here we go. Yeah, this is immense fireball. 7, 3, 10. 3, 8, 11, 21. Uh, oh, 30 points of frost damage as, yes, it's almost like a literal wall of ice hits you as he shoots his staff out and this contained blizzard is shot forward and immediately coats pretty much this entire section in this ice climate. Holy shit. Probably do that double command man again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so Vark here, you're up. Uh, so I am actually. Uh, ten, ten minutes is a long time, so I can't actually even do this. <laughs> <laughs> if you start now. <laughs> yeah. How many mm -hmm. points did your goat have? Am I on your shoulders? Oh, so you are minus 11 points then. Okay. And I'm on her shoulders. <laughs> uh, up against the wall. <laughs> I can wash it. I can wash it. It'll be a cool move. Sorry. Come on. See if this does anything. I need to make a rain, a melee spell attack on on this, on this barbarian guy. Okay. Nope. Doesn't. Nope. I guess eight. No. Yeah, not not, not, not close. No. I miss, and then I I throw up sanctuary as my bonus action. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, Thunky. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, lightning, <laughs> lightning bolt. These two bastards. What's the what's the, sorry, what's the distance? The cone is it five foot or ten foot? It's a hundred feet long, five feet wide. You would only be able to get one of them. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, that is a sorcerer. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, how do you want to disintegrate this poor man? So I'm like probably shivering and everything. I'm like, you bastard! And then I'm just going to like... Yeah. I hope that like some of it like shakes off into the lightning bolt. So yeah, you still glittering and drifting towards the ground is snow left over from his blast and your electric storm has utilized this to connect and grow even stronger Perfect. as it just <laughs> <laughs> and almost blasts a, t a tiny little cave that Kim, or Kim Tim appreciates <laughs> into <laughs> the, the wall <laughs> behind the sorcerer and he is just nothing is left Good. but his sorcerer boots. All the ice turned to steam. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. This is like a Dragon Ball Z fight. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be a DM here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, Tim, you are up. Is he, is he yes, dead. he's dead. Dead as fuck. Dead. <laughs> Damn. Um, I am going to get so cluttered over here. Kill me. <laughs> uh... I fucking love these packs, dice. Just wave my wand and say, ha, ha, and then cast a firebolt at On this one. Okay. <laughs> Roll for damage. He's in range. No. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I know. I'm going. Luck. You got two of them. <laughs> I'm going to use. Uh, it's it's not luck. Um, I have a lot of things that allow me to re-roll. <sighs> <laughs> I feel like I'll that use was my last luck point. by intelligent <laughs> design on your part. <laughs> um, yeah, twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely hits. <laughs> 
barely uh, inspired by the wild mage sight magic? Wild magic? Oh yeah. Nope. Hmm. Cantrips don't technically count, but hmm. it's I, I feel like it's such a low chance that we'll let him do it. Is that two and a one? Two and a one? What what is a ten? Is that is that a one or a Oh that's one, yeah. It would be a zero if it was a ten. Okay. Well zero. then seven points. Hey. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet <laughs> <laughs> It's like But he probably flinched this really this hard. This <laughs> giant electrical <laughs> blast just disintegrates an entire portion of this this mountain <laughs> and then yeah it's like a <laughs> and it, it even sort of like spirals a little bit and takes its time <laughs> before getting to it we're all it's just, just like watching <laughs> it <laughs> yeah it plenty of time to dodge he's, <laughs> yeah. he's just, like, he's just looking at it approach him yeah. oh firework <laughs> yeah. surely they're better than <laughs> what a minor inconvenience <laughs> that wasn't very nice <laughs> Sizzle. <laughs> Her check. You are now up. Good. I'm going to take two more reckless attacks at this motherfucker. Okay. Uh, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17 for the first one. Let me see! Uh, 18 for the first one. What was your first roll? 11. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely hits. Alright. And we'll do the second hit. 18. Uh, it definitely hits. Okay. Both of them hit. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oof. Oof. 15, 16 for the first one. Oof. Uh, 32. Uh, Total? No. Here, roll a dex saving throw. He, he, he beat it. Uh, uh 32. To 37 points of damage. Yeah, as you are now just in your your rage, seeing his his weakening state, just smell the blood. Finding I more, smell the blood. Finding more and more success as more blood coats your body, and uh, he is he is now. <laughs> yes, he's 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 looking more. Frenzied and in an entire rage right now. Um, okay, he is now up, and he is going to. Yeah, Kimbara is the biggest threat here. Bitch. Surprised he's still alive. How's he looking? He looking a little rough for wears. Hold on. Um, he's, yeah, he's, he's looking very rough. Blood is, is sort of coming from the different portions of his armor. His, he's, m he's missing and can't, well he's missing most of his right arm, can't move the rest of his right arm. And he is going to attack Kunbara. He's going to turn around and pull out just these knuckles, these really gnarly looking, it almost looks like they were made from scraps of garbage knuckles. He's going to jump at her one more time and garbage slap. <laughs> garbage slap. I've already pulled these out of his butt. He is going to actually left hook the uh, the horse's left leg and <laughs> just breaks it and oh the horse no. actually <laughs> just poofs away and Kumbara lands on her two feet and he is sprinting away right now he is oh, running as as quick yeah, we yeah go for it go do an attack of opportunity he's do we running all get an a attack is he yeah all three of you get an attack of opportunity the greatest no he's he's running away <laughs> natural 20. okay <laughs> okay you can attack go ahead roll I'm are you attacking to, uh, and then kumbara jump back and shoot a bolt at him <laughs> um 
What? You can't move during an attack of opportunity. I'm going to jump in. Ah, I move. Ah. Uh, I will do... I take it back then after the critical roll of dice. <laughs> huh? Just rolling really good now. Yeah. Can I do vampire touch? Oh, no, never mind. You get an attack of opportunity. You attack yeah, that's with your melee attack. weapon. It is a melee attack. But it's a melee spell attack. <laughs> you no, know, you don't... I know, it's you a don't melee attack. Do you... You don't get to choose what you do on your op attack of opportunity. It's just your attack. Well, then fine. I won't attack. I'll just... What? Take your attack, Rummy. <laughs> fine, Gosh, what I'm is... Attacking. Goodness. <laughs> Roll your damage, Max. Double it. God, Rummy. Um, six, seven, eight, 16. Kunbara, as her steed disappears, tries to land with a plunging strike, and he just goes around it. As you clip his his shoulder, he uses his knuckles to just barely stop the impact from doing more damage. As there's a and he turns around and runs in the different in the opposite direction, uh, away from you all. Did he roll a natural twenty? So he rolled. He has superiority dice. Oh, he used okay. one mm. to fuck the horse up. He used the other to um, make it so that he rolled the, the, the number of superiority dice to his AC while he's running away and disengaging, which I got a 10. And he used the other to lower the damage that you did also by 10. Jesus. So he is now in full sprint. And uh, his. Where's he going? Which way? He has a f uh, way? Op uh, away. He jumps over the rocks. <laughs> yep. He's in my domain now. <laughs> <laughs> and and he, he starts now. running. Can I shoot him? You can, after he's completed his full movement of 40 feet away from, <laughs> from you all, also with two uh, very large objects obstructing the path, you'd have to jump over as well. Okay. If you want to pursue, you, you may. He has 40 on top of jumping over those rocks? No, he has 40 total. So the jump took, I'm going to say, half of his move. He's, he's probably only a little bit farther away from the rocks as you all start so to, to follow. Jump on top of the rocks and shoot the uh, ray of sickness at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this a hit to attack or is this he rolls something Make too? Make a rain spell attack, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna this is still his turn, so he's still ha you have to beat 24. Yeah. I have to be a 24. Yes, you do. Wow, that is, uh... That's not, cause that's not, that's not even possible for me to do. You can roll even if yeah, I have it's all not my, even if yeah. I have you, all If you got a natural 20, we'll see what magic happens. Uh, that wouldn't matter, because a natural 20 is still 20. <laughs> no, it's a natural You add your modifiers. Yeah, 19, so that's a 23. <laughs> that was close. 23. Yeah, actually, that was... Actually, I, had my thought. I, I actually had, 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 had spell attacks, so never mind. My, my spell attack is plus seven. So. Oh. oh, there you go. See, it is totally possible. Yeah, I forgot about that. Though. So, so that's a. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. You forgot about that, so now you just. Twenty-six. Okay, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I hit him. <laughs> Roll damage. I guess. <laughs> so it was level three, so that would mean he gets. Four d eight. 4d8. Yeah. Holy shit. Poison damage. Hmm. Eight. Ten. Plus thirteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. So nineteen points. And then he has to make a, a constitution saving throw. If he fails, he gets poisoned. He rolled a one. Poison. Plus a 19 plus poison. A natural <laughs> one? Yeah, natural one. So, <laughs> it collides with his body, this ray of sickness, and you can start to see his yellow pulsing veins that, are f that have been flared up at this point start to slowly turn into green and just droplets of blood, and then slowly more and more they start to turn into almost this dark black ichor.
that's hitting the ground as he's running away, and he's just limping away at this point, but he's still running and gaining, s gaining speed, and he disappears Ooh. around the corner. Oh. And, and he hears, oh, sorry, he, he heals, you have not heard the last of the castaway whip as he's impacted, and he's just like, <laughs> 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 Does poison actually hurt him the next turn, or what does it do? With a natural one, you, it, you, there's more of an effect to this poison than you've seen most of the time that you've used that spell. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. And, hold on. He's infertile now. <laughs> <laughs> Does this guy just <laughs> <laughs> anybody gonna shoot him? Yeah, can we shoot Yeah, him. shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! I'm doing a spike growth, I guess. That's gonna be like over right How there. How far away is that though? Like, it yeah. has a hundred. Lightning bolt him? Okay, you have pl you have plenty of space. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of room. So I'm gonna do the spike Ten growth. Bolt. In tandem. No, I I already used that. Well I guess I have three slots on that. So I can use that three times? Uh, can yeah. we just use I magic mean, freely now? Yeah, it. we're out of yeah. it seems like him. now. I'm gonna take off after the fucking okay. the, the dude. Okay, we'll just say that he's just the archer was was already also limping. Um, he's y you <laughs> replicate what you did okay, to perfect. the to the sorcerer. He's dead. But now there are two caves up there for you, Tim. Can I sprint after the dude? Big dude you you can. He has disappeared huh? when you jump over the rocks. Okay. He's gone. Though there is a trail of blood. Yeah, I follow it. Okay. Um, I'm following the blood! Follow closely behind her. We're well, not closely behind her. Uh, and this is Kumbara? Yes. Kun Kumbara, she jumps up, waves her hand, and her steed appears below her, and she takes off um, <laughs> over, the, over the rocks her as well. Her steed was killed. Her steed it it was it's vanished. Is it a magical steed? Yes, it is. There's actually a move called... Vanishing Punch. Vanishing steed. <laughs> Vanishing steed. Uh, find steed, and it's she can make this spectral okay. course, um, and she she takes off as well, and you're sort of running after her. The trail does actually make an investigation check. All of us. You you are going after her. Nobody else seems I'm to be I'm doing. I'm so I, I, I oh, game. Mark here. Go after game. <laughs> no. This is a valiant effort. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, that's right. I didn't think of that. Probably not. Do I have tracking for something? Investigation. Investigation. You find Kumbara a little bit up the path, Seven. and <laughs> it leads to part of the stone wall where the trail has disappeared. It almost leads right into the wall, and it's disappeared. And she's sort of looking it up and down, trying to poke different areas of it, but to no avail. It stops at the wall? Yeah. I look out there. Is there anything up? How, how tall is it? With your investigation check, you I punch don't see much. <laughs> I punch the wall in anger. <laughs> okay. Fr what does he say? Frustrated! Frustrated! <laughs> um, and you all, well, I guess, yeah, what do, what do you guys do at this point? Kunbara says... We escaped with our lives this time. We need to be more vigilant. It seems that someone is after us. Did you run into anybody out in the evergreen forest with Teraphim? Just that god. And I suspect it's the group who has poisoned the king. This uh, makes our quest hands, even right? more yeah, urgent. The dead end? Mm, easy hand. The group. The group that was behind the dead hands. Ah, the, the woman with the, with the blue hair. Oh, we interrogated her, and she revealed much to us. It was a long process. Weren't we looking for her? <laughs> no, the leader of the dead hands, you... Oh, no, mm. I thought you were talking about yes. the, uh, the woman at the party, for Duke Shorn's party. <laughs> Their organization was just the hand that got into the castle to poison ha. King Triandall. No, oh, uh, ha, I... Just I didn't even notice that myself. <laughs> but no, Jim's serious. <laughs> so, can I walk back to where we fought all the dudes? Yeah. And gather their bodies up. Mm hmm Yeah, mm. can I pick up that dude's mace? Yeah, go for it. I'm casting. Anybody else wanna search or anything? No. 
Y yes. I'm casting spider <laughs> no. climb on Tim over here. So we can go hide in his caves. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone that is like Splunker. visibly hurt? I think most everybody is doing pretty yeah. poorly. Who's doing the right. worst right I got now? Thirteen right now. I'm at thirty. Okay, oh, I'll go over to. Uh, you uh, fucking scared me. Bark here. It was like, I went from and 72 down to wounds. 30 in like one hit. And like you said you were almost dead. <laughs> that is almost <laughs> dead to me. When I go below 40, I'm like, shit. Because that's like another move for you. Can I cast Animate Dead on this group of bodies? How many people were, were dead on the, on the ground that I picked up? Like four or three? Was one to you? Some it people were completely was a, was a disintegrated. Crushed, it was a crushed Eric Cockrath. Mm. Do I would say actually of the bodies that, shields on the that you... Move for D8? Yeah. Think you could That's reanimate? Mm -hmm. Possibly, no, not even the air cockra. Most of them of are a heap of of destroyed mess. Your horse is still doing good though. All right, then I guess I will just. Uh, never mind. I'll just uh, light the bodies on fire and walk over to my horse and see if I can mend anything on him. <laughs> okay, replicating the process <laughs> before you. you. It, it's even harder this time. All right, I pick up that shield too. Do they feel special? Do they look special? Do they look cool? The the mace is a almost an obsidi ob obsidian black mace where the ball of it there are slivers of almost this luminescent green coming out, and you now have <laughs> you now have you now have whatever it is. The copy mace of it. terror. Can you copy and paste it to me? I will. I'm gonna mace. So fun having things that actually exist in the. Hey. And then the. Oh, I'm sorry. Sh shield. <laughs> uh, that's okay. just a standard shield. Standard shield. I'm gonna. Hmm. Does I'll the mace I'll look? I'll trade you maces. Hmm. 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 if you. Want I wonder this what this is gonna look like for sense, you. Though. Well, it's. I don't know what it's called, but it looks. Terrifying. I'll trade you. I'll try for a little bit. Is it a two-hander or one-hander? Um, it is a one-handed mace. It does a D6. I'll uh. Hey, wow! Actually, that pastes really nicely. I uh. Do you want me to send it to you, Bar? You send it to me as well. <laughs> uh, I want to go yeah, ahead and yeah. send that out to all of us. Are you giving it to Varkir? Yeah, I'm giving it to Varkir, and he's giving me his what? My morning star. I'm Your a morning duper. star? Mm -hmm. All right. I does, does one you're a duper. So yeah. you're going to be trading <laughs> down for damage. Is that okay? You duped all yeah. over us okay. tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, I take I his morning star, and I uh, <laughs> be like, Pig, yeah, no, it's not much. Can I just put, I'm going to put it in the bag. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, you got Pinky. Nothing, nothing special, but hey. You find it very hard to open up the bag. As you actually make a strength check. Oh, well that's a lot of information. You are like, <laughs> you just barely are able to open it. And just after the first few seconds of trying, you're more so opening it out of pride than actual goal of dispersing or, or inputting the mace. Did you send it to me twice? Morning, sir. I sent it to you once. There's just a lot going on there. <laughs> oh, it looks like you said you just sent damage and... Oh, uh, I might have said <laughs> <it>. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Did I I'm supposed to be the duper. The duty pooper. Oh, my fucking. Right does <laughs> anybody <laughs> want... Shit. Does anybody have anything else that yes. they're doing? Go okay, what are you doing? I'm checking this cave. <laughs> <laughs> roll an investigation. Ooh, yeah, roll an investigation check. What was that mm for? <laughs> That's Three. not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he found a couple bugs. Put them in his pocket. You cave checks out. I uh, oh. I scoot backwards out of the cave. Yeah, it's and, uh, that that's that's slide. Down. You go into the cave and you feel oh yeah. just just that's listening to the perfect sort of perfect for you. the slight echoes Could happening you that through it that it will allow. It brings you back me. home for a second. Oh, it does terror things. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, my, my guy has like a 
Absolutely. Read the description. But that's it. Ponder <laughs> coming <laughs> back or you coming you out again. You realize there's, no that there's a lot of poop still in between your face. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. um, that's something I'd like to do. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll get back <laughs> on <yourself>. my feet. Yeah. <laughs> and I, with up. my um, with my teardrop staff, I'm going to um, <laughs> hold it. <up laughs> give myself a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> but really, drill water. <laughs> push, <laughs> put the staff up my robe, give it a few, give it a blast, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ask if uh, Donkey, do you want me to wash you down? <laughs> Hose yeah. you off. Well, go ahead. Turn around, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh. spray her down. With the uh, the staff. Okay. Uh, both of you are, I mean, I guess clean. Yeah. Your Wet. clothes and everything are disheveled, but you're there's no more poop <laughs> in or around you. Are there any last minute things that people would like to get done? We um, should move on. Is it nighttime? It's I um. It's about midday. It's probably about two or three o'clock at this point. Wait, what? So I thought the sun was going down when we headed in this area. N remember, the sun is only visible during noontime when it's directly above. So at about two or three o'clock, the sun is already past the point where it would illuminate the the canyon that you're in. How far away, okay. how far are we from Bristol? Bresh, Bresh should be about another hour. We should head there and then do take, take care of business. First I gather everybody around and I do a little prayer of healing around everybody. Ooh, yeah. come in for that. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't grab me. around. <laughs> my horse even comes by. Uh, and you I said you don't like my poop it. on your back. <laughs> <laughs> He's casting it. Yeah, I'm casting. It does the same thing it does before. I can find it. But better this time. Nope. Du 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 right. Du 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 so I'm going to use... Yeah? Yeah, it's gonna be a second a second level anyway, so yeah, just everybody around me gets two D eight plus plus four. Alright, roll the D eight and then everybody will just use that. Seven. Hey. Nine, ten, eleven. Wait, is that seven, eleven, eight, nine, 15. ten, eleven. So yeah, eleven. Plus fifteen. Four. Fifteen. Nice. Nicely done, Mike. Two fifteen points of healing you all get. Alright, we're back above the forties. We're good. We're living again. So I actually think two of the four living horses are dead. My horse dead? Did my horse get killed, I think? Uh, my, horse was, my horse was like chilling back here. Wait, there are five horse, five living horses. Two of the five living horses are dead, and those are the ones that were being <laughs> tagged along. No. Uh, at the back of <laughs> her That's fine. Well, my horse. But actually, wouldn't they turn undead since my horse blew up next to them? <laughs> what is that a radius effect? Yeah, it's a ra it does ten a ten foot radius. Everybody in there turns undead. <laughs> yeah, sure. They're just <laughs> sort of nibbling on each other <laughs> in this sort of clover of dead horses. Awful. <laughs> Would you guys want to ride them? They're so still great. What was it? One of your dead horses? Yeah, it's it's a range of ten feet, and it's just like it's instantaneous. They <laughs> everything you turns that's di that died there turns undead. <laughs> you just have to get past the stench of burnt fur. And Come on, now we have three undead horses. No, Don't pass. you like this? Don't you? I'll, I'll tell Tongue. all three horses just to follow me then. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the good one is the boss. I'll, I'll I'll let the other two know. Like, hey, the Brexus is your boss. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. you. Sally, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Sally? Brexus and Sally. I don't know. The Maybe other one is would sit on it, you know? I'll Just sit on his name. <laughs> but yeah, three undead horses, okay? So we have some okay. some leeway. Okay. Vark here, I'm just, I'm letting you know now, you will 
I mean, I'm going to kill them before we get into Bresh. I mean, re-kill them. I'm going to have to. Why? We are trying not to draw attention to ourselves. You did a pretty, you did a commendable job Some with Some blankets over them will Brexis. be fine. Blankets over them. I'll put blankets over Brexis. You can't kill Brexis. I'll put blankets over him and then hide You're right, I can't kill him because he's already dead. So you can't unkill him. Very obviously <laughs> so. He's a known unknown, okay? You can follow along like a half an hour behind the main group. I'll just have him follow along about 120 feet behind us. In the shadows. <laughs> yeah, Going sure. Yep. Shadow to shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Stealth horse. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. limping oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> What's that creaking noise? Don't mind that. You promise? I, I promise. Crossing fingers means that you'd... Are you're not telling the truth, right? <laughs> In my hometown, Pinky it's a sign me and of show your other hand. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> show your other hand. Sight of hand. <laughs> so good. He's like, want? fine, very well. He will follow a hundred feet behind us. You said a hundred and fifty. Whoa, who, uh, me. A hundred and fifty feet behind us. Ish. And with that, as the horse is following 150 feet behind you guys, an hour out. Three of them are following us. <laughs> from the city. Three. <laughs> Tim can just ride with me. Of many paths. That the city of Bresh. Don't have to be all nervous. Thanks. I want to calm Thanks, my Brad. horse down because I, I, want, I want the horse I'm riding to know that I'm not going to do that to him. I would let him die of, nat of natural causes. Just like, don't worry. I wouldn't turn you. I would let you die of natural causes. <laughs> okay, well, catch us next time, assassins. What will happen in the city of Bresh? <laughs> Breshel. As always, until fate next, next brings, brings us, us together. together. And, and never stop, stop playing D&D. You of said stuff. role playing games last time. Now you switched to the video. I game. switch it up. I go left sometimes, I go right others. Up, you know? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>